Okay, so um, let's look at um, Spider X card. When would I go into that? And let's talk about some concepts. So I've got double sleeve. Matthew, if he is in headquarters with his right leg forward, which is which is common, I'm putting in that strong Delaheva hook. We've showed multiple things we can do from here. I could be going for that off balance, okay? or the Burambola, switching to the Delaheva grip. If his weight isn't on this leg, and more on that one, we had overheads on the Burambola, which we looked at again. And then we looked at transitions to sit-up guard and Dela X guard, depending on the situation. But let's just say I have double sleeve, and Matthew sort of has his right leg straight, and I couldn't put in the Delaheva hook. The next course of action will be putting my foot in his hip. But again, I don't want to hang around here with two feet on his hips. Matthew will be making grips on my pants, stuffing them in the mat and running around, yeah. The minute I put my foot on his hip, obviously, as in the club, we could just switch the collar and sleeve. That will be another um, pathway to go around. But we're going to go to Spider X. So the minute I put my left foot on his hip, I'm going to create an open elbow um, on his left arm with my right hand, and I'm going to put in a spider hook. Now, from there, if Matthew is closer to me, he has easier ability to swim inside and start getting that inside control and pushing that down. So I want to be thinking about when I put that spider hook in, my left foot is pushing him back. The further his head is from me, the stronger my spider X guard or your open guard is going to be. The other thing is I'm flurring his elbow out wide. So I'm making him point his left elbow right to the side. And I'm pushing into that and I'm just keeping tension in his arm from here. Obviously, I'm not going to be hanging around here. There'll be things he'll be trying to do as well. So the first thing is we're going to work our off balance. So from this position, all I'm going to do is put my left foot on the mat. And now I'm just going to force Matthew into taking a step um, with his left leg. So I'm just flurring this out like the steering wheel of a car till he does that. The goal is to get his right leg close to my left hip. So when I bring my knee up, okay, I'm gonna put in a strong De La Hiva hook, but more the sole of my foot in his belly, and we'll, shoot, we'll, we'll talk about that in the next sweep. But I don't want Matthew being able to step out of this, so now I just cover it with my elbow. So I make this connection with my left elbow to my left hip. So if Matthew tries to step out with that leg, he's connected to me, and now I can sweep him in four different directions. I'm also constantly pushing him out with this really and making him take that step, always off balancing him. And now, very much you can see um, the connection to obviously Spider Guard and X Guard. So Spider X is like a, a hybrid guard, just of those two guards, just of this step up. <clears throat> so when would we go for this? Just from double sleeve. I couldn't get the Dalaheva hook in, his leg was straight, I didn't have the profile. So I do switch to feet on hips guard, but I don't have two feet on his hips. I'm gonna open up this elbow and put in a spider hook. And again, before I even start working off balancing, I want Matthew's head in the right place. So I'm just gonna push back a little bit. So really his head is over the mat. Anytime his head is over me, that means that my spider X guard will be weaker and he'll be a lot easier to swim inside and push my knee down and step over and all that stuff. So it's easy just using my foot that's on the hip to push him back a little bit. So once we're in this position here, all I'm gonna do is make him take a step of this leg out to here, but the goal is to get this foot beside my left hip here. So it's just plant and just it's like the steering wheel of a lorry, a big turn, so it's just this. Once I'm there, I bring my knee up, cover, his um, right foot with my elbow, and then I put in that strong De La Hiva hook, but the sole of my foot is in his belly, pointing straight up. And now from this position, if Matthew tries to free his leg, and I'm gonna be constantly off balancing him with the open elbow. Let's just get from the angle, where it's perfect. <clears throat> so I have double sleeve, De La Hiva wasn't available, foot on hip, put in my spider hook, Push him back so his head's over the mat, plant my foot on the mat, and make him take that step. Immediately I cover it with my um, elbow, and then I'm going to put in that strong De La Hiva hook with my foot 
facing his belly. Just remove yourself there, bro. So there's my foot. It's actually pushing into his belly. So once I have that, and that, and he can't step out with his right foot, no, it's just a constant off balance. I can sweep them in four different directions. So that is our transition to Spider-X.